Oh my gosh. I mean, like, these sausage cheese rolls. Hey y'all, it's Megan. Glad you're back, glad you joined me today. Uh, today I'm gonna show y'all how to make some quick yeast rolls. There's nothing better than a good, delicious yeast roll, especially when it takes half the time. You're gonna start off with a cup of warm water. Think baby bath water. Cause if you get too hot, you kill your yeast. But if it's too cold, it won't activate it. So I always like to tell people, think of baby bath water. Then we need a third a cup of melted butter. Two tablespoons of yeast. And a fourth a cup of sugar. Now you're gonna add that in together, just like I'm doing here. Give it a great big stir. And you're gonna let that sit till your yeast gets, it gets foamy on the top. So you're gonna let that sit till that foam forms at the top. That means your yeast is getting good and activated. This right here is what I meant by foamy on the top. So we are ready for the next step. And now that it's good and bubbly, we're gonna crank us an egg in there. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more just softened butter, okay? And we're gonna just mix that all up. This stuff is like super bubbly, super active. That means our temperature was right on point. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're gonna pour our liquid mixture into the, a decent sized bowl here. start adding flour a cup at a time till we get a good dough. This right here is bread flour but you can just use all-purpose flour if that's what you have. So I add right at about three cups of flour, just depending on the temperature in your home, the humidity in your home, it may take you three to four cups of flour, but I added three. So now I'm gonna just sprinkle a little flour out on the counter here. And you're gonna wanna knead this for 10 minutes. It's a nice smooth dough ball. We're gonna set our oven to 400 degrees. Let that be preheating. I'm gonna grease my cookie sheet. Now we're gonna divide this into about 18 little tiny balls, okay? So what you do is, you just get you a piece, and you're gonna pinch it, like that right there. Roll it up, so we're not slicing or anything, you're just pinching till it lets go. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna fold the little edges underneath. This is just for looks, you ain't gotta do it. Just makes them a little prettier. So I'm gonna show y'all this just a little bit closer. So we come right here, get you a piece, pinch it between these two fingers. You're just gonna squeeze very gently until it lets go. Roll it up. Take your edges and kind of just fold them under till you get a perfect little circle here. Like I said, that's solely for looks. She ain't got to do that step if you don't want to. Take your piece of parchment paper, cover them up. Lay a dish towel on top. You're gonna let them rise anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, just depending on how much time you got. 
right, so I've let these rise for about 20 minutes. Looky there, looky there. Don't those look good? All right, so I've got me an egg wash here. All an egg wash is is a beaten egg with about a tablespoon of water. So I've got that here, and we're just going to lightly brush all of them. This is just going to give us that beautiful golden color. Not really going to affect the taste any whatsoever, but it does help them get pretty and golden brown. So just be real gentle when you're doing this and just put a little on the top of each one. But you don't want to mash or anything on them. That one right there is about big as my head, I feel like. I might have got a little carried away with that one. Ooh, honey, have you ever seen anything so pretty? And they smell just as good. Now, it's your preference if you want to paint the top of these with butter, which is what I'm fixing to do, because y'all know you can't ever have too much butter. So, something I want you to think about at the end of today's video. You know, I've been talking a lot about opting out of systems, right? Well, opting out of systems is not just growing your own food. It's not, you know, it's not just raising your own chickens for eggs. A way you can opt out of systems is to quit buying Hawaiian yeast rolls and start making your own. I had hands-on time of about 15 minutes. All in all, it took me, let's see what time it is. From start to finish, counting the rising time that I gave it, it wasn't an hour, maybe 45, 50 minutes, something like that. So, yeah, I ain't been doing it an hour. So, anyways... I hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, I'm gonna take I want to take a bite of one of these and just show y'all how soft it is. I'm stirring gravy. I'm making beef tips, and I'm uh, trying not to let my gravy burn, y'all. So let's see. Ooh, honey, Lord, have mercy. They're gonna be so good. Let me see. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Y'all look here, and look. I hope y'all can see just how soft that is. Let me take a little bite. Maybe I won't burn my tongue. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, the softest yeast rolls ever. Best thing in the world and took me no time to make. So, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Go home and make you some yeast rolls now. They're good. Anyways, talk to y'all next time.